<laughs> hey, George. Perfect kite flying weather, huh? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> careful. I lose control. Flying a kite's all about control. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is a lazy Susan. <laughs> he didn't know what a kite was when he woke up that morning. <laughs> but there was nothing in the world George wanted more than to fly a kite. <laughs> Sorry, I can't turn over control to an inexperienced city kid. This isn't as easy as I make it. Look, I studied the Beaufort wind scale for three years. <laughs> I never make mistakes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Rats! That's never coming down. <laughs> For a city kid, you sure can't climb a tree! <laughs> Not a scratch! Thanks, George! As a reward, I'll let you fly her. <laughs> Bill! Billy! Coming! I promised I'd help Mom gut a pumpkin. I won't be long. You watch the kite till I get back. George figured he could watch the kite even better while it flew. <laughs> Want to go see the bunnies? There you go. Hey there, got George with you? How'd you know it was us? Hmm, well, guess. Hey, I just got bunnies. Want to see? <laughs> George had never seen a bunny up close before. You like bunnies, George? <laughs> Do they have names? Sure. There's Fuzzy, Whitey, Brownie, Spotty, Black Ears, Cottontail, and Herbert Neninger. And that's their mom. Want a pet one? <laughs> Which one? Brownie? Whitey? <laughs> Fuzzy. Fuzzy's cool. There's some things you need to know about bunnies before you pet one. Oh no! It's time to deliver my papers. <laughs> Sorry! Come back tomorrow and you can pet them all. <laughs> well? You're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow, George. Ooh, George could barely stand it. Who can wait a whole day to pet bunnies? You going out? <laughs> Be a good little monkey. George thought he could keep the bunnies company while Bill was away. They were so still, so quiet, so fuzzy. Bunnies, bunnies. Bill wouldn't mind if he petted one bunny, just once, if he was very, very careful. Bunnies were so still and quiet and fast. They were almost too fast to see. Definitely too fast to pet. And absolutely too fast to do as they were told. George? Oh, I could have swore this was where I left that kid with my kite. 
George, where are ya? Hmm. He couldn't wait. Boy, for a city kid who never flew a kite before, got her up higher than I ever did. <gasps> Whoa! Well, hi, Bill. You own binoculars? Sure do. What's trailing behind that kite? Oh, it's George. It's George? A and he's got a squirrel on his head. Bill, you call the fire department. Okay. Why? I don't know. They seem to know how to do everything. What are you gonna do? I'm going up there after him. A ferry boat. Maybe he could build one. Commanding a ferry had been George's lifelong dream. Ever since he first heard of them. Earlier that morning. Luckily, Bill's boat looked good as new. Maybe he just put it down the wrong way. Hey, George, how's it going? Huh? I'll be back after I deliver the rest of these papers. Thanks for taking good care of my boat. <laughs> George couldn't figure out what he'd done to it. It looked perfect. But he knew one thing. No! <laughs> Bill couldn't enter the contest with this boat. George had to build him a new one, and fast. Unfortunately, George had no idea how to do that. First, George had to find out what boats were made of. <laughs> if you've got to build a boat in a hurry, a bucket of toys is a handy thing to have. Jumpy Squirrel's new favorite thing to do was watch George sink boats. And he wasn't disappointed. <laughs> it turned out metal didn't float so well, especially when it was full of holes. Plastic. Plastic might work. Just like the other toy boat. But metal cars are heavy. Even so, it was sort of floating. It was just sort of floating underwater. Hey, George. George had three great-looking boats. But just looking boaty didn't make them float. <laughs> At last, George had something he knew would float.
Bill wasn't going to win any contest with a tiny board. <laughs> no! <laughs> and this is what he had to work with. Maybe it was time to study boats in action. Wide boats seem to work well. Steam coming out. A propeller. And a good solid bottom. Okay, a wide boat with steam coming out and a propeller. All done! I'm just gonna drop my bike at home. Would you mind watching my boat for a few more minutes? Huh? <laughs> and jumpy out with extra nuts. <laughs> He's storing food. Squirrels hide food in the ground. Oh. Then when they need it, they dig it up and have plenty to eat. <laughs> George never knew the ground was such a good place to store food. George and the man with the yellow hat needed a good place to store food. George could hardly wait to chew the rewards of squirrel-style storage. <laughs> mm. Mm. George, these donuts are delicious! <laughs> George, this fish is phenomenal. Yeah. It's time to bring her in, George! <laughs> Of her, George. Sailors call boats her. I bet a city kid like you never knew that. <laughs> yeah. You made that, Bill? Yes, sir. Well, that is pretty impressive, isn't it, George? <laughs> oh, thanks. But it's nothing compared to Mr. Quint's model whaling boat. That's it over there. Draw the nets, laddies. Aye, aye, Captain. And over there is Mrs. Rankin's Ark. <laughs> and look at all those over there. Ooh. It's some pretty tough competition this year. Now, don't underestimate yourself, Bill. That is one fine-looking boat. Good luck. <laughs> oh, sure, you can stay with Bill. I'll set you up right here. Okay, I'll be over at the bleachers saving up some seats and sizing up Bill's competition. I'd sure like to win a ribbon, George. To buy this kit, I had to save nine weeks of money for my paper out. Oh, I almost forgot to do my paper out. Could you do me a big favor and wash my boat while I'm gone? 
<laughs> See you soon. George knew boat watching was serious business. There were a lot of nice boats here, but not one person had built the greatest boat. <laughs> You dig in a swimming pool? Uh, oh, no, Bill. Uh, George was being a squirrel and buried my speech. We can't find it. Well, I'll help. <gasps> Wait, I know someone who can really help. She's a great digger. No speech here. Oh, digging a pool there, are you? George buried something, and we're trying to find it. Well, I've got a metal detector I use to find coins and such down by the lake. Maybe that'll help. Cool. Uh, well, my speech isn't exactly made of... Well, no. Ahoy! <gasps> Maybe it's what you're looking for. No, my speech isn't made of me Ooh! Are they pirate keys? Uh, could be. Maybe to a treasure chest. Oh, uh, no. We're, we're not gonna find my speech, and I can't rewrite it in time. I'll just have to skip the tribute. George didn't have the talents of a squirrel, but he did have the talents of a monkey, which meant he could see really well. <laughs> you found it! The speech! Well, that's not made of metal. Hey, George. Keeping the bunnies company? Thanks. As a reward for doing that and being so patient, I'm gonna let you pet one right now. Petting a bunny isn't easy. It's all about maintaining control. Step one, unlock latch. <laughs> but you wanna pet a bunny, don't you? Okay, you sure are one careful kid. <laughs> hey, how'd that acorn get in there? Newspaper delivery is an exact business. People expect it at the same time every day. <laughs> Thanks for watching my boat. Where is my boat? George, you built this yourself? <laughs> wow, I thought city kids just bought everything. Where'd you say my boat was? George? <laughs> I forgot to close the windows. Thanks for showing me. I would have really been sunk if it happened in the contest. <laughs> Model boating requires utmost attention to tiny details. And keeping the water out. <laughs> Come on, let's go enter. Hey, you gotta bring your boat to enter it. <laughs> sure. Who else has a boat like that? Let's hear it for our winners! <laughs> Congratulations, George. I didn't even know you built a boat. I convinced him to enter it. And did you see this? It says best boat by a monkey. <laughs> That's funny. 
They must have run out of regular ribbons. I'll take care of this. I'll ask him to make you one that says, Best Boat by a City Kid. <laughs>